Andy. Welcome to Soup Top Recipes. Today we're making Dou Hua Niu Liu. This is what I think the best Sichuan beef recipe. Just imagine the most tender beef slices served on top of the silkiest tofu and packed with tons of flavors and beautiful aroma. In this video, I'll talk about the original method of velveting. Once you learned, you will be able to make that soft and succulent beef all the time. Let's get started. To save time, I'm going to turn the heat to high and heat a pot of water so I can prepare the beef while waiting for it to come to a boil. I am using New York strip steak, which has a silver skin along the side. We're gonna remove that because it is chewy. Cut the beef into a few big chunks. Then slice the beef into one eighth of an inch thick slices. Other tender cuts such as flank steak and sirloin cap will also work. Set it aside. Marinate the beef with half teaspoon of salt, some ground white pepper powder to taste, and one egg white, and mix for a few minutes. I have done this velveting method on this channel so many times, but I have never explained why using the egg white instead of the yolk. Well, egg white is one of the few foods that is naturally alkaline, which can increase the pH level of the meat, break down the tough grains, and tenderize the beef. As opposed, egg yolk has a lower pH value, like around six, so it doesn't do the same job. The velveting is not done yet. Mix a quarter cup of water with one and a half tablespoon of potato starch until no lumps. If you don't have potato starch, you can use tapioca starch or corn starch. Pour it into the beef in batches. Mix until the liquid is absorbed. Add a little bit more and continue. The starch and the egg white will create a soft layer that will wrap around the meat and retain the moisture. This layer has a velvet texture. That's why the marinade is called velveting. Once all the starch water is absorbed, I like to add a little bit of dark soy sauce to give the beef a desired brown color. Set it aside. We're going to move on to the tofu. This recipe requires silken tofu. If you don't have it, soft tofu will be the second best option. Place a steamer rack in the pot and steam the tofu over medium heat for 10 minutes. Once done, take it out and set it aside. Next, we're gonna continue to use this pot of water to poach the beef. When I say poach, means the heat needs to be at the lowest possible. The water bubbling activities should be subtle that you only see a few bubbles coming up at a time. Add the beef slices one by one. Wait for a couple of minutes or until the meat floats to the top of the water. That's a sign that tells you you did a good job of velveting the meat. If you didn't mix the meat with the marinade long enough, it won't float. Let's fish the meat out and set it aside. By now, some of you are probably wondering, how is beef cooked in plain water gonna taste good? Just hold that thought. This recipe is one of the representatives of Sichuan Mala flavor, which means spicy and numbing. I have got here eight to 10 pieces of dried red chilies, which I seeded and cut them into half inch long pieces. You can reduce the chili amount if you don't have a high spice tolerance. Here is one tablespoon of Sichuan peppercorns. It's not spicy at all, but it gives you a tingling and numbing effect. I'll link it in the description. You can check it out later. Toss them into the wok and toast over low heat for a couple of minutes. Do not burn them. Otherwise, they will bring a bitter taste. Grind them finely with a blender. I should mention that I'm using one tablespoon of Sichuan peppercorns today. If you have never cooked with this ingredient before, please use a small amount at first, such as one teaspoon, 
and see how you like it. Sichuan peppercorns can be overpowering and ruin the dish. Set the spice powder aside and bring the tofu over. Instead of cutting it with a knife into cubes, we will get a spoon and scoop the tofu into the serving plate. The purpose is to create more surface area, which allows the seasonings to infuse deeper. A small trick to make your tofu taste so much better. To the same wok, add some oil, along with two teaspoons of minced ginger, two tablespoons of minced garlic, three tablespoons of diced scallions, and two and a half tablespoons of Sichuan douban jiang. Stir over medium low heat for a few minutes or until everything becomes bright red. That is how you know you have activated the flavor of the dou ban jiang. Continue by adding half teaspoon of five spice powder, two teaspoon of sugar, two thirds of the Sichuan peppercorn and the chili powder. We will reserve a third to sprinkle at the end. Keep stirring for a minute or two. Quickly mix one cup of water with half tablespoon of cornstarch. You can use beef stock if you have some. Pour it into the wok. Bring it to a simmer and stir until the soup is slightly thickened. Introduce the beef into the wok and let it simmer for one more minute. Do not overcook it. Taste to adjust the flavor. It should be a lot saltier compared to your normal taste because the tofu doesn't have that much flavor. I made this many times, so mine is perfect. Sprinkle the reserved Sichuan peppercorn and chili powder, one tablespoon of minced garlic, one tablespoon of diced scallions, and one tablespoon of diced cilantro. Heat two to three tablespoons of oil to smoking hot and pour it on top of the aromatics. That sizzling sound is so satisfying. It activates all the aroma and spreading out the deliciousness. Without this step, this dish will just lose its characteristic. Mmm, my house smells like an authentic Sichuan restaurant right now. I can't wait to eat it. This is definitely the most tender and succulent beef that I have ever had. I didn't even need to chew it. It just breaks apart and melts quickly. The flavor is so rich, spicy, numbing, and aromatic. I can just easily indulge in a few bowls of rice. I hope you give this a try soon. As always, the printable recipe link is in the description. Go check it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more delicious and authentic Chinese food. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.